That gas station is no stranger to violence. Our team coverage continues with five on your sides. Robert Townsend. Robert is live outside St. Louis Police Headquarters, which is less than two miles away from the Old North St. Louis Shell Station gas station. And Robert, you talked to people in that area. Hey there, Ann. Let me tell you this. Those people tell me that violence near that gas station has been an ongoing problem. Now today, St. Louis police shared crime numbers with us supporting citizens concerns. It's definitely rough. That's how Shawnee Parker describes living near this gas station in Old North St. Louis. The gas station is located near the intersection of North Florissant and St. Louis Avenues. You see drug dealers sitting on the parking lot all day, in and out. And that's not all. St. Louis police say since late January, they have received more than 60 calls to the gas station. Calls ranging from shots fired, auto theft, to disturbances. What's more, police say during the same time, they responded to more than 100 calls at the north side intersection. I prefer to keep, you know, inside my little territory down there. Absolutely. Neighbors say for years the gas station has been a hot spot for crime and other problems. City officials have identified the business as a public nuisance. Three hours before an armed 16 year old boy was shot and killed Sunday during an officer involved shooting, Third Ward Alderman Brandon Bosley says he was at the gas station addressing a loitering problem in the parking lot. And walked around with the current manager and asked people to leave the lot, and they did. Police have a real-time shot spotter camera system on St. Louis Avenue in hopes of catching criminals who fire gunshots. We also saw cameras on two traffic lights. Still, some neighbors would like to see security officers patrolling the gas station. He doesn't have to have security there. That's not within his, you know, uh, occupancy permit. Those people won't be able to hang out just sitting here hanging out on the lot all day if there's security, you know, keeping track and making sure everybody's safe. And next month, the gas station owner and the city will go to court. Of course, we will let you know the outcome of that meeting. Live downtown, Robert Townsend, five on your side. The three children shot over the last 24 hours now put St. Louis's total number of juvenile shootings in 2022 at 94. 11 of those children died. During all of 2021, there were 99 children shot. 12 of them died.